What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name's Lloyd giving you practical and actionable dating advice that really works. Today we're gonna to be talking about a subject that I was reluctant to talk about, but since 17% of my audience happens to be in this age bracket, um, I'm gonna be uh, talking about it today. And that's how to get girls in high school, okay? If you're a guy who's struggling with girls in high school, okay, you're not alone. There's so many guys out there, especially when I was in high school, uh, I had a lot of trouble. Um, and it's because you're kind of in this closed environment that pigeonholes you into an area where there's it's very difficult to move around, okay? So a lot of the videos that you read online are about approaching tons of women and a lot of pickup advices like that. I actually wouldn't recommend doing that when you're in a closed environment like high school is because you can get pigeonholed into a certain kind of guy and it's very difficult to dig yourself out of that hole once you've done it. So if you are uh, someone who wants to get better with girls, I think the number one thing that you need to start doing is you need to start socializing with people more. A lot of guys in high school, what they do is they just go to their class and then they basically just go home and sit in front of their computer and play video games or do whatever it is, do their homework, um, and they, they do the bare minimum to get by. I think you gotta do a little bit more if you wanna get uh, girls in high school. If you want better for yourself, then chances are you're gonna have to do better. So in this video, what I'm gonna be talking about is I'm gonna be talking about the practical tips that are gonna help you get girls in high school. I'm gonna talk about the complications, the problems that you're going to encounter once you execute these tips. Uh, and the final thing are the mindsets that you need to have uh, in order to be successful, not just in high school, but in life in general. Okay, so the first practical tip that I have for you is like I said, if you're just going home right after school, you're just trying to get through class and you're just hoping a one girl likes you, okay, you need to be more proactive than that. You need to actually go out and talk to people. One of the things that I suggest that you start doing is join some clubs, join some organizations, join some sports teams. You know, for me, sports teams really didn't get me that many girls, but I'm sure if you join the football team or something like that, there'll be girls that are interested in you. I was the captain of my soccer team for two years and, uh, didn't really do much for me. <laughs> but I guess people really didn't care about soccer. Make sure that you're joining a club that you know is gonna have girls that you like. It's gonna have girls that are pretty or people that you might be interested in. A, a student body's really great. You know, my student body at my high school had, it was like 90, 80% women or something like that. You know, and you were, the, the thing about these, you're doing projects together. So chances are you probably talked to some of the popular kids at your school or something like that, but you haven't really been able to make a connection with them. Well, the way you make a connection with them is if you have projects, when you do activities, with them and that's actually a recipe for life just having casual conversations doesn't really bring a strong connection but if you're doing activities you're actually doing stuff with them that will bring a connection to them um, and you will become better friends with them the second thing is when you're in class don't just be in class just to be there okay all of this comes down to socializing more and if you're just in class just to try and get by or like I was in my senior year of high school I was basically trying to take a nap in every single class and get out of there as quickly as possible okay don't do that okay when you sit down talk to the people around you let Let's say you have, if you're in high school and you have like, I don't know, six different classes that you're taking, okay? You have six different classes, there's gonna be about four different people sitting around you, okay? Some of them might suck, some of them might be cool. Talk to all of them, okay? If you have four people around you that you can be friends with, that you can shoot the shit with, that you can uh, build up some sort of rapport or connection with, become friends with possibly, that's four in each class. Four times six, that's 24, okay? So you have 24 new friends that just by being in class, you can be in there. And probably more if you do work, you know? From these 24 friends, they're gonna be in different groups of people. Different people, you know, the, the way they, I saw it in high school was that they would hang out at lunch or uh, recess together um, in different groups. And so each of these people is gonna be in different ones. So you kind of have an in with each of these different groups, okay? And if you do this in every single class, you build up a connection and rapport with them, try talking with them at lunch or try talking with them at recess. It doesn't have to be long, just a quick conversation or something like that. Ask them how they're doing, talk about the assignments for a little bit, maybe ask them what they're doing later and expand upon it more. This is gonna bring you more friends, gonna make you more popular just literally by going to class. The third thing is be good at something, okay? If you're in the school and you're kind of a nobody, you're just sitting there doing, doing nothing, okay? Try and be somebody. It's as easy as joining a club, like I said, or it's as easy as being on a sports team, or it's as easy as, oh, he's the guy who does track and field or something like that. You know, be good at something, okay? You don't have to be great, but you just be doing something in your everyday life. If you're doing nothing, you're not really after school doing activities and stuff like that, it's gonna be a lot harder for you to make friends. You know, when I was um, captain of the soccer team, although it didn't get me many girls, it got me a lot of people that were on the soccer team that kind of looked up to me, that, you know, wanted to be as good as I was or, you know, wanted to hang out with me sometimes. And actually, when I was a freshman, 
one of the things it did was uh, I was actually really good at soccer so I was a starter on the varsity soccer team as a freshman and that got me kind of an in with these older guys that I would never have been able to have access to so at dances and stuff or you know when there was in a school event or something I would see them there and we would talk we would hang out and they would come up to me and that made me look pretty good you know people are trying to like see who you are they're trying to get a quick snapshot of you and you just don't have anything going for you well that's going to make you a lot less attractive to women women kind of want to go for a guy that's got something going on for them you know whether they're the starting quarterback or maybe they're the head of the science team you know that at least that's something it might sound kind of nerdy but the captain of my science team actually at my school was uh, one of the most popular guys so just being something helps step number four is don't talk shit about other people okay be positive towards others if you're nothing but positive and nice to everybody in your school all the time you will be popular very quickly okay that's the, the thing about people in high school is because they're so nervous when they hear somebody talking shit about another person they start to talk shit about them as well and so that brings you know although it might seem cool in the short term and that's what a lot of this stuff is is people do Doing things that are going to help them in the short term but in the long term they're actually going to hurt them socially if you're that kind of guy who's doing that then it's going to be a lot harder for you to make friends and it's going to be a lot harder for you to be accepted within groups because they know that you're saying bad things about them so i would just be positive and nice to everybody i know and this is going to take me to my to the second part of my video which is talking dealing with these sorts of issues because people in high school man they, they talk a lot of shit and they're really negative because they're scared and insecure when you're in high school, you're still trying to figure things out. You're still trying to figure out, hey, if I do this, is that going to make them mad? Or if I do this, is this going to make people like me? And you're experimenting, you're doing things. And so everyone doesn't really know what they're doing. And so it's kind of like the blind leading the blind, okay? What you need to do is you need to bait Base yourself off principles that have worked historically and are working historically, you know, today. And that's being positive with other people, being nice, being kind to them, actually taking care to learn their name, actually taking care to learn their name and a little bit about them. If you know somebody's name and a little bit about them for most of the people in your school, which for a lot of people is possible, my school had like 2,000 kids in it. So there was about 600 kids in my grade. Um, and, uh, you know, it was possible to learn about maybe about 150 of them. I could know a little bit about them and their name and I, I could have brief conversations with them. That was enough to get me an in in pretty much every single group there. Now what's gonna happen it's when you get an in with each of these different groups, there's gonna be girls in those groups. There's gonna be girls that are looking at you. Some of them might like you, some of them might not like you, okay? You have to see which girls are kind of warm to you, which girls are coming up and talking to you the most, and they're spending a lot of time around you or conveniently running into you and shit like that, okay? That's what people do in high school, okay? And once you're in this position, don't be the little bitch that like, <laughs> it says, hey, my friend really likes you, or you know, give, give, you know, tell your friend to tell this other girl that you like them. Nah, man, just, just talk to her a lot more and spend a lot more time with her and see if she's open to doing other things with you. You don't have to make it all formal. You don't have to turn it into a date. Just treat it all casual, you know? And that's really the way you go in high school is if you make it seem like a, not a big deal, it's gonna not seem like a big deal to her. If you spent, maybe you got some yogurt after school or a coffee or something like that. Or maybe she joined you to, uh, to watch one of your, um, maybe you guys were playing in the park or something like that after school, you're just hanging out. You know, there's plenty of options that you can do. And for a lot of these situations, just by inviting them to stuff and trying to get them to come out, um, eventually some girls will come. And the truth is a lot of people are nervous. People are looking for an excuse to not do anything in high school. So if it doesn't work out, don't sweat it, man. There's going to be plenty of other opportunities out there. And you never know. They'll probably come around at some point. So um, in, in high school, a lot of times people are going to do the thing that they think is the easiest rather than what's the best thing for them. You have to be better than that. You have to be the guy that if I do these things over time, they're eventually going to reap rewards. I'll give you an example about a guy who executed this perfectly. So there was a guy at my school named uh, Tom Brittle. <laughs> Tom, if you're watching this, uh, I'm totally shocked, but uh, you're, you're my example for this. So Tom Brittle was probably one of the most popular guys that I knew at my school and he was popular because literally he would just give value to pretty much everyone around him like if there was even me who like wasn't cool at all he if he saw me in the hallway he would stop he'd be like hey Lloyd how's it going like like how's your day is everything going all right and I remember there was one time in class where uh, you know I forgot something from my project and he just gave me his like and he lost points on his grade because of that you know but he was willing to do those things for other people and because he was so altruistic because he was so kind and caring he never spoke badly about anyone he was the most popular guy in the school by far and he wasn't even a good-looking guy he was I think he was overweight at that time he's a good-looking guy now <laughs> um, but he was a little overweight he, he wasn't someone that you thought would be like 
just everyone wanted, every girl wanted to get with. And the reason why they were though is because he was the most liked person in the school. And the way he got that way was just by being positive um, and nice and kind to everyone. He was really personable too. So if you do these things over time and you put yourselves in positions where you can do them, you're joining some clubs, you're doing some activities, you're talking to the people in your class, you're, you're, uh, you're going up and asking how people are doing at lunch, recess, um, you're participating in events and you're, you're really trying to make an effort with people, eventually it will reap rewards over time and you will notice that people you're standing in the school is going to go up. It's very tough to jump groups in a, in a school, but just realize that people are more nervous about being rejected than they are about rejecting you, okay? They're just looking to see what other people are doing. So if you encounter people that are being insecure, maybe you might get rejected by certain people. Okay, don't sweat it too much. They're just trying to figure things out just like you are, okay? So stick to these principles and I guarantee you, you're going to be getting a lot of girls in high school. And once you do get those girls, don't be a little wuss about it. Make sure you uh, try and invite her out to things. Don't go through a friend to try and ask her and, you know, sit back and forth on text messages. Um, I think you guys use a lot of Snapchat, so I would recommend you get the Snapchat before you get uh, the phone number or something like that. And, you know, see which girls are paying attention to you. See which girls are coming around and hanging around you. See which girls are paying attention to your social media posts. That's the other thing, too, is a lot of people, they, they stress so much about, um, like, oh, I need to look cool, so I need to have less, less uh, um, I need to be following less people than are following me. So that because they're so scared about putting more effort into other people and getting less back, they don't put the effort in to begin with. And that's the recipe for not being cool, not being popular, and ultimately not getting girls in the first place. Remember, Remember, you have to be better than these other people. Everyone in high school is insecure, and if you stay insecure too, you're gonna get just what everybody else gets, which usually, in high school, people get nothing. You know, when I was in high school, I didn't get laid. A lot of my friends didn't get laid in high school. I was not a cool person. You know, obviously, later on, you know, <laughs> times have changed. But in this scenario, um, the re a lot of the reason why I wasn't getting the results is because I was too scared to go out and uh, go out and push myself and accomplish them. And look, man, once you give more value to other people, at the beginning, you're gonna be giving more than you're getting. But as time goes on, you do this consistently, you're gonna be getting more than you give. So that's what my recommendation for you guys. If you wanna get girls in, in high school, do those sorts of things and you'll be successful.